Hello and welcome to the vlog. Today is about uh, a tour of the plots as they are growing crops for the winter. They are mostly growing green manures, but just want to show you the growth now in early November. Just a reference to see how things are coming along. If you've got any questions, ask in the comments below. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up. If you don't like the video, thumbs down. No problem, whatever you like. Any commentary is muchly appreciated. Anyway, so without further ado, here we go. So this here is my new strawberry bed. These runners from about, uh, but they're downwards, are newly planted. Very late, not really good enough. The strawberries above have been planted well over a month ago. And there's a, a row just there that needs to be planted today from these potted runners. But this isn't the right time of year really. It would be much better to have done that earlier. But time ran out on me again. <laughs> I've got a bucket of compost there. That's the last of the compost for that area. I tend to do them in rows and um, oops, it's making my and using a ridge method like this here. The onion bed is coming on nicely. There is a few poking through the netting. I'll I'll remove that today. It's only there to stop the birds pecking them out. And the same on the top half as well. The, the elephant garlic isn't out with us yet. Another job I've got to do today is the phacelia. Growing very well, a little bit too strong, just starting to come into flower. When it starts to flower, it'll go woody. So I'm going to reduce the height by half because I don't want them woody and I, I want them to try and stand over the winter if I possibly can. The comfrey doing rather well. And then the winter terrace. These were planted on the 15th of the 9th, this row here. Um, doing rather well, showing good growth. I expect nothing but a success with those. <laughs> um, they'll be starting to fix nitrogen now. Very good. And then a winter job will be to sort out these raspberries and the bindweed that has infected it. <laughs> Something that did work very well was blocking the. Excuse me. Blocking the cooch grass from invading this way from the path. The comfrey and the wood chip trench both worked really well. That is what I would term a success. How to be a Robin's best mate? Well, you see, I had um, the carpet down moved it around and what you'll expose is piles of slug eggs. I know he will be down scoffing up this lot here. And everywhere I've exposed the ground is slug eggs. So the facility has been cut back. Hopefully we'll get a lovely crop of, of Blue flowers in the spring, nice and early for the bees. The carrots have been cut back. Believe it or not, they are better than they got. I will cover them with a bit of spent compost just to try and keep them over winter. Paths have been raked out and put them onto the bed, whichever one's applicable, both sides. And then the next thing will be to mulch with And of course the comfrey has been cut back a bit. So I'll show you a better picture. Uh, a 
and there we are past renewed plot looking much tidier great stuff This is uh, on the second plot. This is uh, winter terrace, sown same time as the other bed. Field beans growing along quite nicely. And then these winter terrace were sown about two weeks later. You see the difference in the height there, it's quite surprising. I've got to take out these two zinnias. <sighs> Always something there. There's a couple of rogue potatoes in here, but no go in the first frost so I know how to take that out my next task is to ta tackle that lovely mess the old sunflowers and the dahlia and from the wood chip comes a nice crop of fungi Definitely not edible, but doing the power of good. There we are, Daniel has chopped back. Two pots of potatoes found underneath her that somehow got lost. There's the uh, remnants of the stump, and there's the chopped dahlias. And something I would like to point out. We don't get this mentioned very much, which is these hoes from Wolfgarten. They skim just underneath the surface, so they're compatible with no dig, and they chop the weeds off right at so soil level. It's hard doing this one handed, sorry. It's definitely a two handed tool. And they're absolutely marvellous. This bed was quite well. Weedy underneath the day, underneath the sunflowers, and this took care of it in no time. The sunflowers are being left like a pile of rubbish. <laughs> um, the reason being is these will go brown and get really brittle over winter. A superb springtime brown. That and the um, sweet corn stems that I've also got stashed away already which are there beneath them now this hardly in the day there's a bucket of leaf mold two-year-old leaf mold that is now pretty much ready uh, I've got to add just a little bit more dampness to it now this has been open um, for the first year and then I harvested it and put it into this place and it's not bad it, on the top here where it's not quite as bro broken down it's not quite as good but it was a little bit dry but it seems to have worked we like it when things just about work but this here will be graded down sifted mixed with wood chip 3050 that I showed you last week and that would be my seed sowing compost for this year. Superb stuff. <laughs>